Hi, I'm Eloise. I am a graduate of Cambridge University for law. And in this video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how I did that and some tips and preparation strategies that you might use for your own journey to law. So I am now an author, I'm a writer and a former corporate lawyer, and I study law at Cambridge. So it will depend on your college choice, so you should always check on the specific college website to see what their grade requirements are. The university generally takes an A star AA offer, but again, check on your college requirements. And if you are an international student, check the equivalent grade boundaries for you as well. Generally across Cambridge, the standard A level offer is A star AA. You should definitely check your college requirements. And if you're an international student, check the equivalent grade boundaries for you. In addition to your grades, there will also be the LNAT, which is an aptitude test to test your critical thinking and your comprehension skills, and there will also be an interview process. So in terms of how you can best prepare for a Cambridge application, I would split your preparation into three main stages, and I would look at the preparation starting as a year before your application. I mean, maybe even earlier, if you're looking at this video earlier, that would be helpful as well. But let's say you're starting a year before the application or in the year to the six month range. What you're gonna be doing in that first stage of preparation is really figuring out why law, and in particular, why Cambridge for law. So you're thinking about what is interesting about the subject to you, what you wanna explore within that subject and why Cambridge is the right place for you to study. In terms of your preparation here, you can do things like find reading lists for undergraduate admissions or for people who are thinking about studying law. Get a few books off that reading list, start reading them, see what you find interesting and engaging, make notes on your findings and explore those ideas. You can also do things like obtain work experience if it's possible, either virtual or in reality, if that's possible for you. You can visit a local court to see advocacy in action. So really exploring how barristers and solicitors operate in practice in the English um, legal system. And you can also do a lot of research about the university. So what is it that makes this university unique? What are some student experiences? How can you explore more? Could you book into an open day? Could you visit the city? Could you explore the college system? Things like that. In terms of what you're doing at school, you obviously want to make sure that your A-level performance is the best it can be. So really getting your grades up to a comfortable level where you feel like you're meeting or preferably exceeding the offer. You can also think about taking on some additional responsibilities if that's open to you within school or outside of school. So those are things that you might talk about in your application, such as positions of responsibility, like head girl, head boy, prefect, things like that, anything that your school has to offer. You can also think about clubs or society. So if there isn't a law society, could you start one? Could you join debating club? Could you take some kind of position of responsibility? Aside from clubs and positions of responsibility, you could also think about volunteering opportunities, so either within school or outside the context of school. Anything that gives you a little bit of managerial responsibility or managing your time, managing other people, taking on responsibilities that are over and above the things that you would do within your school studies can be really helpful. In the next stage of preparation, so after you've done your real initial prep in the year to six months running up to your admissions, you will be thinking a little bit more specifically now. So looking at the university as a whole, thinking about which college might be right for you, booking into an open day, visiting the university if you can. There are also lots of things that you can do online. So you can join webinars. There are often talks and conferences going on that you might be able to join. There are often lecture programs that you can watch online. So, so there are a lot on YouTube as well. If you search you know, Cambridge Law Faculty lecture series, you might be able to find some interesting lectures that have been hosted at the law faculty. When you feel like you have a short list of colleges and maybe you've visited on an open day, really take some time to research those colleges. What are they known for? What are their specialisms? How many law students are they admitting? What are their values? You know, what are these colleges really standing for and how do those align with your personal sense of who you are and the kind of university experience you want to have? Over and above exploring the university and the college and obviously looking on the undergraduate admissions pages, the law faculty pages and your college's admissions and law pages, you should also be thinking about interview prep and LNAP. So we will talk about LNAP in a separate video but you will be doing some kind of preparation to elevate your comprehension skills, your critical analysis, and the way you think about topics and debate for your essay component of the exam as well. 
In terms of preparations for interview, you'll be continuing with all of the prep that you did in the earlier stages. So your reading lists, maybe exploring more books, more ideas, elevating your understanding of the law, you know, conceptually and also practically through your work experience and other opportunities. And ultimately preparing to articulate some of those views in an interview format. In your final stage of preparation, so this is like the three months or so running up to the actual admissions itself, you'll be thinking about things like UCAS, so your personal statement or the equivalent, the new version of the personal statement. You'll also be thinking about references, talking to your teachers about, you know, whatever you need to really advance your reference and make sure that you stand out as the best possible candidate. It's really helpful to look online and see if there's any guidance for how you can do this. So not only the Cambridge law pages, but beyond that, you know, what makes a good law student and how can you show those skills, not only in your personal statement and the things that you write about yourself, but through your references, through the positions you're taking at school and the things that you're doing outside of the context of your studies. It would also be really helpful to take a refresher through some of the initial reading that you were doing way back at the beginning of your prep, because these are often the topics that you either might be writing about in your personal statement or you might be speaking about at interview. And so some of these kind of foundational conceptual law ideas can be really helpful to go back over them, maybe chat about them with friends or other people who are applying for law, but get yourself used to talking about some of these ideas out loud it can be really helpful for the process running up to your interview. Throughout the entire process, you really want to keep in mind two main ideas. One is why law? Why do you want to study law? And this is a slightly different question from why do you want to be a lawyer or why do you want to use the law in your career? This is the conceptual or the theoretical study of law. So these topics like that you're going to be studying at university for three years, why are those interesting to you? What is it about that that is fascinating or makes you feel curious or makes you want to learn more? And the second question is, why Cambridge specifically? So why not a different university? I can tell you a few things about why Cambridge is different, although you should definitely go and explore it for yourself as well. One of the main features is the small group nature of teaching at Cambridge, normally called the supervision structure, where you're actually learning in groups of two or three students, sometimes even less, and you're really having this personalised um, high level of attention and challenge on your thinking, which really helps you to advance and heighten your understanding of the law in a really short amount of time. But really, I think thinking about whether this is the right style of teaching for you. So do you work well in a small group? Is this something you feel like would help you advance your own thinking and understanding? These are questions that it's really helpful to ask yourself as you go through this process. The final stages of your preparation will be taking the LNAT. So this normally happens in October of whatever admissions year you're in, um, either early October, sometimes a little bit earlier as well, um, and preparing for your interview and your submission of your new cast materials as well. But for now, if you feel like you would benefit from some more support or from mentoring or from something additional to the support that you're getting through your school, definitely check out the resources at the profs. Um, you have a range of consultancy, mentoring and support options for people looking to get into the university of their choice. And you can contact them through the information on the screen right now.